Hi and welcome to another edition of Wedding Show TV. Today I'm here with Leanne from Wild About Flowers, one of London's leading florists. Leanne, thanks for having us. Nice to have you here. So Leanne, couples are generally not used to working with flowers. Are there any main considerations that they need to think about when planning the theme of their wedding? I think the most important part when it comes to the theme is the bride and groom's personality. I think it's nice to have some meaning behind why you've chosen that theme. For instance, you know, a couple might have met in Asia, so they're having an oriental wedding, or they might have grown up by the beach and they're having a beach theme. So I think kind of what person, something pertinent to what they've shared or how they've got to kind of, you know, where they are is a really nice starting point to yeah. plan your theme. Yeah, so it creates originality and uniqueness well, as meaning, well. Well, yeah. meaning, I think. So it's got purpose, you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've got a nice wedding this year, like I said, of a couple that um, grew up in pool and they're having a beautiful beach wedding with driftwood and kind of, you know, soft flowers and, you know, it's quite a chic beach wedding. Nice. But it's because that's, that's how they met and where they grew up. Yeah, definitely. They're Londoners, but they're having a beautiful kind of beach wedding of where they grew up. So that's a really nice example. Have you got, in your experience, any, any disasters or successes? I don't think there's any disasters of, for choosing a theme, because again, it's pertinent to, to the bride and the groom and the family. But I think my one tip would be not to overthink the theme. You know, to do a lot of research and, and you know, with the design, um, you know, be involved with your florist on finding the right flowers and the right vases and sundries that work with that theme. Uh, but also having all the supplies work together so that you, you don't, don't overdo the theme. I know it's, it's, it can be really easy because it's the brightest, your best, most important day of your life and you want it to be perfect. But it's kind of like what Vivian Westford said, before you go out on a night out, look in the mirror, take one item off. Because um, sometimes you, I just think, Less is more. Yeah. But you know, detail is important. Yeah, I think that works throughout the wedding. So Definitely. good advice. In, in all in all aspects. Yeah. But especially with kind of um, design. Yeah. Especially with the kind of design, with the flowers, with the cake, with the favours. You know, have it all work in synergy. So there's obviously lots to consider when planning the theme of a wedding. Do you have any one piece of advice that you would give to any couple? Yes, my first bit of advice would be to start using a tool called Pinterest. It's an online social media platform where you can pin all the pictures that you like into mood boards. So if, especially for your flowers, you can pin everything you like onto a mood board. You'll start to see the style kind of come together. It's definitely something to do before your consultation. So when you get to consultation, um, you can use that as a basis. And it's also a good guideline. The florist will be able to kind of guide you on how those um, designs work within your budget and so forth so it's uh, research 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 yeah good way to be organized definitely a good way to be organized and a good, good starting point um, so everyone kind of knows where you're where you're at what would we do without social media oh, I love it Amazing. I love Pinterest <laughs> I love it I love it thanks so much Leanne that's really really brilliant advice Thank you. Thanks.